Hello once again everyone and welcome to the sanctuary. Once again I'm playing Final Fantasy XIV Realm Reborn as a bit of a trip down memory lane. And to document all the changes in the last 10 years that have happened to Final Fantasy XIV, especially with the main scenario. Just to recap the rules right quick, I'm doing this in New Game Plus on my main character Chris Valentine. I'm doing this as Meteor's job in the promotional trailers, hence I am running a Realm Reborn as Warrior. I am doing any instance either solo or through duty support with the exceptions of normal raids, alliance raids, and um, duties that do not support it. And finally, I am wearing quest or patch item level appropriate gear. Now, when we move to our gameplay mode, I do want to note the quick change I made, and I made this very recently to Mikote. A little bit of backstory before we go on. Um, like I said, I've been playing since the 2.0 beta. I started off as here, but around 2.3, I actually, my FC had an influx of Mikote players. So rather than sit there being the dumbass who's the only hero in the FC, I decided if you can't beat them, well, Join them. So I changed to Mikote in 2.3 and... And it was all right until Heaven's War... Until I reached Heaven's Ward and decided to go Aura. Lore-wise, in terms of my character, Chris Valentine, uh, the reason he is a Mikote was because some of the FC mates pulled a prank on him. Spike... They pulled the old switcheroonie on his drink, and he what he thought was mead turned out to be Fantasia. He fell asleep that night and ended up waking up as this. Anywhoosie. So, where we left off in our trip down memory lane switch to our sides and make sure we're on the right window nope uh this one so last episode we had at least settled things somewhat in Ulda. Though we did find out that Telegi out of Legis being a two faced little son of a bitch. Fuck a cock! Arya's busting my agate saying language. What the hell do you think you are? Colossus? Captain America? Some third noble warrior for justice and PC words? I, I... I'm more of a case starter, so... Then why the hell are you worrying about language? Forget Peggy Carter was with Captain America. Yeah, I know. So, anywho,sy let's get back to the uh, task at hand because I, I, I want to be back to Alra before Dawn Trail releases. So let's get on with this. Uh, where we left off, Minfilia had informed us that the Sylphs might be summoning Ramu. So we're gonna get right down to it and talk and complete the next quest in our journey, the Lord of Levin. Thank you for responding to my call with such haste. Rest assured, I should not have summoned you were it not 
Rest assured, I should not have summoned you were it not urgent. To business, then. I have received some most disturbing news from the Order of the Twin Adder. They have reason to believe that the Sylphs may have called forth their revered guardian, the Primal Ramu. I'm sorry, they have? Then it is not certain? The Elder Seedseer informs us that the Elementals themselves murmur of the Lord of Levin's return to the forest. The Sylphlands, however, display no signs of undue commotion. Forgive me, Antisident, but that fact need not contradict the Elemental's testimony. Unlike his more bellicose compeers, Garuda and so on, Ramu is reputed to act only in the defense of his children. I imagine he should soon make his presence known if any were foolish enough to directly endanger the Sylphs or their territory. The abruptness of this development concerns me. Were we not keeping a close watch on the Touch Ones and their movements? If preparations for a summoning ritual were indeed underway, it would surely not have escaped your notice. Oh, it didn't. I was pretty sure it was going to happen, just not this soon. I beg your pardon. You foresaw this eventuality and did not to prevent it? I told Papa Limo. I suppose I could have reported things to Minfilia earlier, but there honestly wasn't much we could do except wait and see. You know how the Sylphs feel about people poking around in their territory. They already summoned Ramu once right after the Calamity, but that was because the Gallians came tramping through the forest. And so long as Castrum Orion stands, the Sylphs cannot be blamed for wishing to have their guardian deity on hand. In short, Ida and I are in agreement. The actions of the forest folk were inevitable and unavoidable. And I maintain that observation would have been, remained the best policy had it not been for the sudden influx of strangers into the Black Shroud. That, alas, we did not foresee. By all accounts, the recent violence in Uldar drove a number, number of refugees to seek safety under the concealing canopy of the trees. Tis like that the Sills perceive this panic migration as yet another invasion and quicken their efforts to summon their god. I am in mind of Titan and the Kobold. I am put in mind of Titan and the Kobolds. Once again, it is the affairs of men which have paved the way for a primal's coming. Indeed. One cannot help but wonder what manner of place Eorzeo would be without the civilizing influence of mankind. Be that as it may, this regrettable development does afford us a unique opportunity. Chris, through your dealings with the Sylphs of Little Solace, you once succeeded in preventing an untimely conflict with Gridania. I wonder, might one who has treated with the Sylphs so fruitfully in the past not achieve similar success with their patron deity? If Ramu can be convinced of our intentions, it may be the first step to breaking the cycle of primal summoning. A fond hope. If such a thing pos were such a thing possible, we would not have been at war with the Beastmen since time immemorial. But maybe this time we can... Let us continue this conversation anon. We must first needs consult with the nation most affected by Ramu's presence. The Elder Seedseer has requested your personal involvement, Chris. Pray, report to Commander Halloar at the Adder's Nest as soon as you are able. Steal yourself for the worst. While I hope for a peaceful resolution to this matter... Experience suggests that your meeting with the Lord of Levin will prove less than amicable. In such an event, your fellow Scions will of course lend you whatever support you require.
All right. Here we are. Prince of the Scions, your arrival has been most anticipated. The appearance of a primal is ever cause for alarm and unease. Though my men stand ready for any eventuality, I know none more than I know of none more qualified than you to snuff out this threat. Indeed, I would have you do so without delay. The Elder Seedseer, however, would speak with you first. She is of the opinion that your diplomatic rather than martial skills may better serve our cause. I will leave further explanation to our learned leader. Pray, make your way to the Norfolk Exalta. Conjurer in attendance will admit you to the Lotus Stand. Go in. Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Oh, On behalf orders. of the people of Gridania, I bid you welcome. Your presence is of great comfort to us all in these days of uncertainty. I summoned you here to share tidings of a most urgent nature. But a short while ago, the great elemental spoke, and his voice was clarion in its intensity. Ramu is returned unto the forest. Scarce had his words ceased to echo in mine ears when we were visited by an emissary from Little Solace. Our guest informs us that the Sylphs, too, have sensed the presence of the Lord of Levin. Though his exact whereabouts remain unknown, we may safely assume that the Primal was summoned within the heart of the Sylphlands. Unlike the other Primals you have encountered, Lord Ramu is no raging avatar of destruction. He is revered as much for his wisdom as his strength, serving as both arbiter and guardian to his children. Given that we and the Sylphs found a way to share the Twelveswood, it is my hope that this sagely immortal will be amenable to reason, and that conflict may be avoided. Blessed as you are with the power of the Echo, you are one of the few among us who may commune with a primal without fear of influence. I would ask, therefore, that you represent us in this most delicate of negotiations. The Twelveswood has suffered enough. Upon this, we and the Sylphs, and I would venture Lord Ramu himself, are in perfect accord. Let us not endanger our shared home by engaging in unnecessary hostilities. Dear friend, I beseech you, safeguard the peace which exists between our peoples. I promise to do my best. You have my thanks. Pray make for little solace, then. A member of the Order of the Twin Adder awaits you there. He will advise you on how to find the Lord of Levin. An ill wind blows through the forest. Yet... It is not only the Twelve's Wood that flinches at its coming. All the lands of Eorzea shiver in dread anticipation. Have care. Alright, off to the Hawthorn Hut.
All right. Let's expedite Bion's little journey here. Chris of the Scions, I was told to expect you. I understand you go to treat with the primal Ramu himself. An unenviable task, but one for which I have no doubt you are well suited. I have been told that... Oh, wait, did we... Oh, yeah. We had a little bit of a line change in this. Interference of the touch zones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but the ain't... I have been told that your fellow scions are conducting an investigation of the area as we speak. That we might ascertain the location of where the Lord of Levin might be found. We will ask that you abide here until they return with their finding. Okay, we have a few line changes. Oh, and we have some missing quests. First off, a Sylphland... Ah, a Sylphland Sting. Where we had to pour water on... Private's hit... Uh, soldiers hit with Sting Bomb... Or Scale Bombs. Uh, then what? What other ones do we have? Scattered Scions, who we had to... Oh, we had to find the right... Oh, we had to deal with Scion doppelgangers, that's right. One I'll drag on that. Oh, man, we really, uh, really, that was the only quest. Jeez. Okay, we're gonna have to take a quick break because for some reason <laughs> two quests already have been expedited. So oof, we'll be back. If you're watching on Twitch, stay tuned. If you're watching on YouTube, yeah, here are the links provided. See you in a bit.